Abigail use the names of uh, her family? Yeah, she lists family by name, both my side and my wife's side. She can list off five or six names in a row. As well, when she wants to watch a specific movie, she'll usually have three to anywhere from three to eight names that she'll list off in the amount of time it takes me to put in the DVD player. Does she have any uh, funny names for anything? Yes and no. Things have different names. Mm -hmm. She likes to recite superhero names a lot. All right. She's got a toy on the fridge. It's a magnet that she recites her alphabet with. And when she's going up and down the basement stairs, she can. What are we watching, Abby? Yeah, it's Bobo. What are we watching? <coughs> Santa, Santa. <laughs> Okay, can you sing Twinkle Twinkle? Twinkle Twinkle, twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, Abby, who's that? Batman. Spider Man? There's yeah. a cloud. Spider Man? Okay, Abby. Over my head, under my bed, okay. Who's that? Alright, that's Batman. Who's that? Superman. Superman, yeah. Who's that? Green Daddy. Who's that? And there's a sun. Green Lantern. That's really good. Who's that? Under my bed. Wonder Woman, yeah. And that's okay. Cause I know. What are you gonna be for Halloween? What was that? And there's a dream A under my bed smiling on me. And it fits your camera. G fits your camera. K fits your camera. S G seven eight nine. So you've had uh, three girls here for a time, um, around the same age. Have you noticed any differences in the way that their speech has evolved? Um, there's, they're all two months apart in age, so one would presume, particularly at this young in age, that the oldest would be the most articulate, and it would deteriorate in the same direction. But it, it turns out that the youngest, who is the youngest by four months, is by far the most articulate of the three of them. But she is an only child. At this point, her mom is pregnant with baby two, so her, she's had two parents, a lot more attention focused on her, and her mother is school teacher, trained to teach primary, who also holds an ECE diploma. So I think her mom has worked very hard on clarifying her speech patterns. So she is very articulate. Before her second birthday, she could very clearly say, when you ask Jack Bolander very clearly, you can tell which words are conversation and which words are things she like Jack Bolander. And 
you can follow those specific patterns. Whereas if it's a word that she's just using in conversation, she's not already, always quite so articulate. But she is by far about the clearest speech pattern of all the rest of them. Um, what sort of um, steps are they at right now in their speech, the three of them? Um, I would say that they are all approaching three to four word sentences. Not the middle one is the most consistent in saying three word sentences all the time. I want, or four word sentences, I want a snack, I'm cold, I need my mitts, things like that. Um, she's the quickest one to just clearly speak to you. Um, the youngest one, who has great vocabulary, is still at the point at which she can completely ignore you and pretend that you're not speaking to her. When you ask her a question, you can absolutely nothing sometimes. And the oldest one is less interested in language as she is in play. So she's not as likely to want to carry a conversation as the other two are. Um, so what factors, aside from age and the other factors we've discussed, um, do you think have gone into the vocal development of these girls? Um, I think all, all vocal development at this point is how much time one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two -on -two you've worked with other people in learning your words and learning your language. That's sort of about vocabulary develops. If no one has given you a ball and said ball or given you a peach and said peach, you wouldn't know it. So if you give a child that doesn't have much language an apple and They've learned the word apple, they know it is, but if they only know the word orange, they're going to look at it and know it's a fruit and say orange. So it's very much taught language. Now, they're all getting into the point now that they want songs, you know, learning from songs, learning from doing little word plays, learning rhyming, they all are rhyming right now. So that's a way to build development quickly with them in language skills. But it's all about what you're being taught. If you're sitting, if you're just playing or you're watching a lot of, say, television or something that's not specifically geared for your age, you don't develop the same kind of development. It's like watching Sesame Street. Sesame Street, Elmo will say, I'm a fish, so the kids come in and say, Elmo is a fish, because they've learned it specifically in their language they can understand. But if they're not getting repeated language they can understand with a visual connection, they're not. No.